This customer wants to install a light in their closet. I would normally be putting a light in the ceiling, but because the attic access is in here, that's not an option. So we're gonna be putting a wall mount fixture box first, and then I'm gonna be installing a switch on the wall to control the fixture box. And I'll install this best lose fixture that comes with a remote so you can control the light from the remote. After I cut out my switch and my fixture box, I'm gonna get power from this junction box in the attic. So I'll drill down through the top plate here and then I'll run my wire to my fixture box on my switch. I got my box traced out in the stucco and now I'm gonna cut it out with my drywall saw. Got my switch, switch box cut out. I confirmed the location of the light with the customer and now I'm gonna cut out my fixture box with the hole saw and the plaster. Now because I have wood here, I'm gonna use a pancake box to mount my fixture. So now that I have my holes cut out, I'm gonna drill down from the attic where I'm gonna run my wire through the top plate. Just like that. Now I'm gonna send the snake down through the hole that I just drilled and I'll grab it down at my fixture box. I set the snake up from the switch to the fixture box and I tied the wire and now I'm pulling it back. And this one will stay here for my switch line. And then I'll tie this one to here and pull it up to the attic and land it to that junction box for constant power for my switch. So I removed this wire from here, put it on here, and now I'm gonna pull this one back to the junction box into the attic so now I have it here. Now I have my switch line from the switch to the fixture box and my power going up through the attic over to this junction box. Got the fixture box installed. I landed the wires into the box, and I pushed the box into the wall, and then I'll tighten these screws to tighten the box to the plaster. Box installed. So I got the best loose fixture wired, and then you just kind of tuck the wires in here, push it onto the bracket, and turn it, and it locks into place just like that. New switch wired, got my neutrals, grounds, and then power in, and then when the switch gets turned on, it's load out to the light. I got the switch installed. I finished my connections in the junction box in the attic, and I'm putting the blank cover back. And switch on. Now the customer can change the color of the light. They can also dim the light from the remote. Keep in mind that you don't necessarily need a switch line for this light. You can connect it hot all the time because you can turn it off and on from the remote. And that's your end result.